we're going to skip around just a little bit because of, we're waiting on one more member before we get to the uh, election of officers. So, moving down to the presentation of annual audit report, Mr. Denise Rackley. Okay, thank you. You can go home early. Yeah, well, no, I'll just go back to work. <laughs> So, okay, uh, does everybody here on the board have a copy of the blue covered uh, financial statements? Okay, all right. Well, I, I, as, as you know, my name is Denise Rackley, and I'm a partner with Valenti Rackley and Associates here in Valdosta. And um, we have been uh, engaged to perform the audit of um, the authority for um, that entails the, the business type activities of the authority um, for the years ended June 30th, 17, and we also have 2016 in the uh, financial statements as well. And um, management is responsible for the presentation of these financial statements. And, that, and ensuring that they are in accordance with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States of America. And our responsibility is to express an opinion on these financial statements. And, um, all, and we have conducted our audit in accordance with auditing standards generally accepted in the United States of America. And they, um, these standards require that we plan and perform the audit to obtain reasonable assurance about whether the financial statements are free from material misstatement. When we do an audit, we perform procedures to obtain audit evidence about the amounts and disclosures in the financial statements. And um, a lot depends on auditor judgment. And um, when we do this, we test transactions. We don't look at everything. So um, there are, you know, judgment as to how much to test and what to look at. Okay, and um, in our opinion, on page uh, little i, this is our opinion on the financial statements, and here we state, in our opinion, the financial statements referred to above fairly present in all material respects the respective financial position of the business type activities of the authority as of June 30, 17 and 16 and the respective changes in financial position and where applicable cash flows for the years that ended in accordance with accounting principles generally accepted in the United States of America. What that means is that it's a clean opinion. We didn't, um, you know, see anything that, that didn't, uh, wasn't in compliance with uh, generally accepted accounting uh, principles. Okay. And you could, there's a little more detail on that, and uh, you can read that if you um, would like to. Page one, this is the statements of net, of net position. This breaks the um, authorities' assets, liabilities, and net position down into different categories. And this is as of June 30, 17, and June 30, 16. And as of June 30th, 17, the authority had cash of 1067376 and accounts receivable of 49548 which gave you total, net as total assets of 1116944 And only a small amount was payable at June 30th, 2017, and that's 3729 that leaves you uh, a net position at June 30th of 1,113,195. And that is compared to the year before, which ended the year at 979,645. And the changes between the two are on page two. You can see that these, these are your operating revenues, non-operating revenues, shows the beginning net position, which is the next to the bottom line, and then the ending net position. So everything above those two lines is what took place during the year. You had, um, for operating revenues, you had royalty fees of 490308 You had operating expenses of the following here that totaled 360408 which gave you operating income 
net of operating expenses of 129,900, and you had uh, a $3,650 of interest income, which gave you a change in net position of 133,550. Uh, compared to the prior year, you had 82,210, so it was a good bit over the prior year. Page three, this is your statement of cash flows. This shows where the money came from and where it went and how you got from your beginning cash to your ending cash. On page, beginning on page four, all the way to page nine, these are your notes to the financial statements and um, we spell out different uh, information, um, basis of accounting, significant accounting policies. Um, on page six, which is note two, this is your um, bank accounts, and it talks about custodial credit risk and interest rate risk. Now, um, something I did want to bring up, you notice the demand deposits at June 30th, 2017, 422,823. Uh, that is at one bank, and FDIC insurance is limited to $250,000. So, right, as of June 30th, you have cash in there that's not insured by FDIC or collateralized by securities. So, you have two choices. You can move your money to maybe a Georgia Fund one and try to keep that bank account down to $250,000 or you can get it collateralized by securities. So that's something that you need to do. It's not a big risk. It's, I mean, it's not likely they're going to fold, but, you know, but there the is... But the law does say it has to be collateralized. Yes, yes. So um, that is something that, sure. that should be done. I think they, it's been brought up on a, on a regular basis at audits and I think you know the money gets transferred then it gets built back up it's just got to be watched and, and, and transferred over um, okay on um, page eight we've got um, notes about accounts receivable royalty agreements note five on page eight is um, revenue sharing we have a schedule here that shows by city the cumulative revenue sharing that has been dispersed since they since you first started dispersing it, and you can see the cumulative total is uh, two million two ninety six one twenty, and includes what was dispersed in two thousand seventeen. On page nine, note six. These are grants to members. These are um, are grants that have been approved but not necessarily awarded, that, well, they've been approved, but they, they're subject to providing yes, certain information before they can be paid out. So, and then once, if it's been a year since it was approved and it hadn't been paid out, then it expires, is what your policy is. Okay. On page 10, this is, um, this is our, what we call our yellow book letter. This is where we uh, report on internal control over financial reporting and compliance. And this is where if we had deficiencies in internal control, we would um, cite that here. And if we had any issues uh, relating to compliance or non-compliance in this case, we would uh, list this here and be happy to know we didn't find either. So. Um, we have nothing here to say that uh, is out of the ordinary, so it's just your, your standard report. On page 12, this is a schedule of findings and responses. Here's where we say that we're, we have none. And on page 13, this is a summary schedule of prior year audit findings, and there were no prior year audit findings either. Okay, and we also have a letter which I think I didn't keep a copy of, that um, this is general communication. February 7th, Yes, that's it. Okay, this is just our standard communication that uh, we are 
<coughs> to uh, have with members of governance. We had any significant audit findings. We would um, detail those here. If we had any difficulties encountered, uh, if we encountered any difficulties performing the audit, we would list those here. And we did not have any. Any disagreements with management, we certainly didn't have that either. And uh, if we were aware of any um, consultation with other independent accountants by management, we would know that here. And um, so it's pretty much just a form letter, nothing out of the ordinary on this right here. Does anybody have any questions? Okay. No. If not, then we'll move. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. uh, entertain a motion to accept the audit, please. I make the motion that the audit be accepted as presented. Right. Second. All right, sir. Uh, All right, sir. No, sorry, excuse me. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? And Julia will need to get that letter signed. You don't have to do it to that email sent to Jimmy later. Can I have the motion of the second hand, please? Who made the motion? I made the motion. Richard. The mayor seconded it. No, which time? No, this last time. Last time in Red Bush. Last time I said. <laughs> Well, if there's nothing else, then if it's okay, I'll, I'll leave you up to it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Linda.